Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, it is a snowy day here in New York City. Um, schools are closed, uh, both uh, Hunter College where I'm working and the public school. So uh, we're all staying indoors while the heaviest part of the storm passes. Um, I also figured out to move my little window of my video up here so I don't get in the way of keystrokes and stuff like that. So, you know, it takes me a while, 26 or so videos, but slowly I learn. And so I thought I'd do a quick video today of a feature that um, uh, I, I use well when it comes up it's a really really useful feature and that's rectangular editing in Emacs so um, so the first thing is let me get some data so I uh, wanted to find some tabular data to cut and paste and I found it here um, uh, computer science uh, test taking stuff so let me copy that and paste that in um, and you know it's really amazing that when you're trying to find like somewhat of a tabular data to cut and paste into your editor it's really hard to find um, found a lot of PNGs a lot of infographics but just just I want to get some plain tables so um, rectangle mode in Emacs is a way that you can kind of deal with a rectangle so that would be from here to here showing that with the mouse of text which is in regular writing, it doesn't come up that much, but when moving around tables or moving around indented comment blocks, it comes up a fair amount. And um, it's really, these tools are, are so helpful when you have that situation. So let me show you a couple of things here. Um, one place where I would use, um, use this a lot, actually, let me make two copies of this. One place I'd use this a lot is, um, not really even with rectangles, but with something called string rectangles. So let me just mark a few lines. And if I do um, escape x string rectangle, and I'm just going to use the plain string rectangle, and then I can type hello world, and it's kind of like multiple cursors, which is kind of cool. So I can do a whole bunch of things, like insert a string on every line all at once. And of course, I can do this. Let's say we're over here. Even though it looks like I'm marking all this text, uh, that's not, well, tab there is messing that up. But let's do this again, string rectangle. And notice here it's control X R T. So let's do it that way, control X R T. And you can do it in the middle of the line as well. Really useful feature. Um, the other thing you can do is you can do meta X string insert rectangle, the top one there. And then it just prompts you, I don't, well, I didn't mark all, let's mark all this. String insert rectangle. Now, I, I blew over the lines, but you'll see that it does that for all the lines. It doesn't look as slick, but it, it's still pretty cool. So anyway, um, let's get rid of all of this. Um, and I was using that um, before I knew about multiple cursors, and it's really useful when you want to like put something on a whole bunch of lines. Um, but what I also found really useful is the rectangular cut and paste. So you can do something like this. Let's say I want to take this column of text out. I can mark this and let's say escape x kill rectangle and notice it's gone and I can do escape x yank rectangle and again notice we have the keys here and I didn't want to do that. Let me go back up to here and let's put it over here. I know this isn't going to quite work. Let's let's clean this up a little bit. Let's make that there. And let's go with yank rectangle. And bang, there it is. And if I want another copy of this, maybe over here. Right over there. So it's really useful. Now, um, if you're dealing with tabular data, you're probably better off going into org mode and making a table. But when you're just within text, sometimes when you have a comment block, you want to move things around columnarly or, or little tables of text. This could be really, really, really useful. Um, so another one that I like with this is you can also open a rectangle. So you can go something like this. And opening a rectangle is, um, let's see, X, rectangle for rectangle command, O for open and it just opens that little rectangle of text. Um, and of course, you can use these keystrokes for any of these. I, we still have that saved rectangle, so I can do Control X rectangle yank to yank it just as well. So a final thing I'll show you with this is you can also use rectangle mode. So it's Control X space. And now, this is with the um, newer versions of Emacs, you can actually just mark a rectangle visually this way, and then 
Control W for whack and Control Y for yank. Act um, as you would expect them to on rectangles. So um, rectangular cut and paste, uh, rectangular, you know, these rectangular commands, really, really useful, um, you know, not for general purpose stuff, but when you need to operate on columns or these blocks, these squares, these rectangles of te uh, text and move them all over the place, very, very useful. Check it out, and that's it for today.